Kristen from Made It Better One and Knits here today to share with you eight quick gifts to knit at the last minute, perhaps for the holidays. Um, I want to start off by saying you are not obligated to knit gifts for the holidays. Just because you knit doesn't mean you have to give people hand knit gifts or crochet or sew or bake or make jewelry or any of those things. It's not required, even if people ask for them. You do not have to. There is enough going on at the holidays and 90% of people in the world are ordering presents off Amazon. So there's no reason that you have to go out of your way to hand make gifts. However, you may want to make gifts or you may be bad about setting boundaries and aren't quite ready to deal with that yet. So you feel like you need to make gifts. And so we've got just a little bit over a week left until Christmas and I have got eight patterns here that are gonna be quick to knit and great for a variety of people on your gift knitting list. So what does that mean? It means that they are using uh, worsted, Aran, bulky or heavier yarns. Um, it means that the patterns are not overly complicated. There's no brioche, there's not lots and lots of cables, nothing like that. Uh, and it means that they all use less than 300 yards. So, uh, and then I will throw in one bonus at the end uh, since it is one of my own patterns, but it is actually a freebie if you subscribe to my newsletter. And if you wanna do that, the link is down below. All right, so I will be popping photos in here as I talk about these. Uh, let's get started. The first one is Fidra by, what is it? By Fid, I'm gonna go with Fidra by Gudrun, <laughs> by Gudrun Johnson, uh, John Sten. This has been in my queue forever. Um, the only reason I haven't actually made it is that I generally don't buy bulky yarn. I don't usually like knitting with it, but this is so cute. I really want this. Um, so it's been on my list forever as well. As you can see, adorable hat, um, a little bit of kind of geometric patterning, but nothing that is going to be like super overwhelming and complicated to work. The yarn, uh, recommended is a bulky weight yarn. It is, um, Brooklyn Tweed Quarry, which I have used before. Actually, it is <laughs> it is uh, the yarn that I used for the pattern I'm going to tell you about at the end. Um, and it is a lovely yarn. Um, so the total yardage for this is, it looks like at most 160 yards. Um, and you're using US 9 and 10 needles. So this is going to work up really quickly. It does only come in one size. Um, if you wanted to resize it, I would suggest trying a different weight yarn. So maybe going down to, to a worsted weight if you wanted something a little smaller. So that one size is a 20 inch rim circumference, which is just sort of like an average adult size hat. Um, and it actually says it uses 130 yards for the actually knitting and then a little bit extra for the actually knitting, for the actual knitting. And then um, a bit extra if you want to put a pom-pom, which I highly recommend. I am a big fan of the pom-poms on hats. Um, if you want to make your life even easier, just buy a pom-pom. <laughs> fur pom-poms, they're not really fur. Um, there are some really nice ones made of alpaca. They are um, really clever, a lot of them, in that they snap onto your hat and you can change them in and out. Really cute. So. You can buy this pattern online. It is available on Ravelry. It costs a grand total of six whole dollars. I did buy it at some point. So <laughs> you think I would just make the darn hat. Um, so this is gonna be really cute and chin it up very quickly. Um, probably not great for kids since it is just the one size, but a great for adults. And it's gonna look good in, you know, you could probably hold Two strands of worsted weight together if you really wanted to because you know, maybe you just have worsted in your stash this is going to be a great one very unisex design so that's the first one fidra by gudrun johnston uh, the next one is the hat dana so again this is really nice and unisex pretty much anybody could wear a hat slash bandana um this is a pattern by denise bayron um it is, it uses a worsted weight yarn. Again, this is a bandana. You can probably just switch out um, other, other weight yarns if you're trying to resize this. Um, it 
does include four sizes, however. She also has a fingering weight version, but since we're talking about quick knits, we don't have to worry about that. It just has one very simple cable in the center. The nice thing about this is you can also use it as a cowl. Um, so again, this is gonna work for pretty much everyone on your list. The sizes are from tween up to a large, and it uses 200 yards of yarn. So the recommended yarn is uh, Stonewall American Cormo. I really love Cormo. Um, but let's see, Stonewall American Cormo is uh, 100 yards for 50 grams. So that is on the heavier side of a Cormo. That is on the heavier side for a worsted. You probably do not want to necessarily substitute something like um, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes, which is very thin for a worsted weight yarn. Um, but pretty much any worsted is really going to work here. Again, not a whole lot going on, a ribbed kind of brim, big cable down the back, a very simple one, and a little bit of tassel. Um, six instructional video links are provided at each step, so she's really gonna hold your hand through this whole thing. Um, and that yardage does include a swatch, which while in general, I uh, highly recommend swatching for something like this may not be as necessary. I would probably just start making it and measure as I go to make sure I'm on track. Um, so the needles you're gonna be using are uh, US four and five, which are on the small side for a worsted weight yarn. So you're gonna be getting sort of a, a very dense fabric. Uh, you can buy this on Ravelry for 10 whole dollars, um, which is perhaps um, on the pricier side for a hat pattern, but on the other hand, like I said, she includes six videos with it, so she's really done a lot of work here to make this easy for you. So again, that is the Hat Dana by Denise Bayron. Now we're gonna get away from hats for just a minute, and we're gonna talk about something for your feet, but not socks, because God knows socks take forever, and you're not, probably some people can knit a pair in a week, but we got enough going on during Christmas, we're not doing that. Um, so these are the Woodland Loafers. Um, and they are worked in a bulky weight yarn. This is a pattern by Claire Slade. The pattern includes five sizes and the most yarn you're gonna use is 155 yards, which is not much. Um, as you can see, they are pretty straightforward stockinette. Um, mostly what's gonna keep you busy is the shaping. Um, but there's no like crazy cables or pattern stitches or anything. Um, that is gonna make this a slower project. So the yarn recommended is Malabrigo Yarn Chunky. Again, you could probably hold a worsted weight double if you wanted to. Um, these are knit in the round, so there is apparently no finishing required, which is always good. There are no charts. This is gonna be really just straightforward with some shaping to get it to hug around your feet. And again, that includes five sizes, so that's gonna work for lots and lots of people on your gift knitting list. And the pattern is on Ravelry for just $5.85, which is an oddly specific amount of money. You are going to be using a US-8 needle. Um, so again, you're gonna be um, getting a pretty thick fabric with this, but that's definitely something you want for something that's gonna be worn on your feet. These have also been in my queue for a long time. They are really cute. And maybe when I get through the Christmas rush, maybe this will be something I actually start for myself. <laughs> in case you missed my saga last week about how I don't have any socks. All right, next up, we've got fingerless mitts. Great for everybody. Everybody loves fingerless mitts, especially these days when everybody's always on their phone and you need your thumbs free for texting or whatever else you might be doing messing around with your phone when you're out in the cold weather. So these are the Rodin mitts. This is a pattern by Isolde Teague in her, you know, she does a yearly holiday um, pattern collection called Knitworthy. So this is a Knitworthy 7. You do have to buy the whole set of Knitworthy patterns. Um, they're almost always worth it. I think eventually she does release them separately, but as of now, you have to buy the whole dealie. Um, and it's six patterns, 26 bucks. So these use a worsted weight yarn. Uh, the recommended yarn is John Arbon Textiles Yarn Delic Worsted, which I don't think um, is widely available here in the US. Um, the 
but this is just a pretty standard. It is a Corydale as opposed to a Merino, but it is just a pretty standard uh, in terms of the weight for a worsted weight yarn. It might be a little on the thin side for a worsted weight. So as you can see, there is not, there's not like crazy cables or texture patterns or anything here. It's just some unique shaping with a ribbing to give just sort of a fun thumb gusset and make these a little bit of a step up from a plain pair of fingerless mitts. Uh, the pattern includes four sizes, so that's going to be great for lots of people on your list. Um, again, because it is ribbing, you are using kind of smaller needles, so um, a US 4 for a, wasted weight, for a worsted weight yarn is on the smaller side, um, but these are ribbed, so they're going to be really stretchy and you need to, to uh, shrink your fabric down a little bit. So. Um, the most yardage for the largest size is 250. And the sizes are to fit hands of, uh, la, 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 da, 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 one, two, three, five, seven, five, six, seven, eight, and nine inches. So that's really gonna kind of cover everybody from older kids all the way up into probably like a men's large mitt. So Rodin mitts by Isolde. Everybody loves fingerless mitts. All right, we're back to hats. Um, in general, I think hats are a good project for Christmas because unless you are way, way off with your gauge and sizing, hats kind of, you know, especially in terms of adults, hats kind of just fit everybody. You know, it might be a little big, a little small, but in general, you know, they don't, you don't have to worry so much about sizing. So this is the Manhattan hat. This is a pattern by Tori Yu. It is basically just a ribbed beanie with a little bit of interesting shaping at the top that's going to keep you a little bit more um, a little bit more involved in your knitting than perhaps a standard boring old beanie pattern. So the pattern includes six sizes. It uses a worsted weight yarn and the yardage for the uh, largest size is still under 300 at 285 yards. So the sizes go all the way from baby to adult large and it is a ribbed hat. So again, that's very flexible. That's gonna pretty much, you know, it might end up too big. It's unlikely to end up too small, but hats, you know, they don't have to have a perfect fit. So the yarn she uses here is M Yak, Baby Yak Medium. Um, she also uses uh, La Bien Me Cori Worsted and Cori Confetti. So all just kind of different worsted weight yarns. Um, the Baby Yak is on the light side for a worsted weight, um, and the rest are, again, Cory Worsted really looks more like a DK, but very flexible pattern because it's just ribbing, so you're going to be able to pretty much use any kind of worsted weight yarn that is in your stash. Uh, there are also some different options involved. So there's a brimless hat, a single fold hat, or a double fold hat. Obviously double fold hat is going to use more yardage and that's what's going to take you up to 285. But if you decide to just do the single fold hat, um, that's 270 for the largest size and a completely brimless hat, which seems kind of weird, but um, is only 150 yards. So you are knitting this on a US 5, which makes sense because of the ribbing. And yeah, there's not a whole lot going on here. No cables, no lace, no anything crazy, just ribbing with some interesting shaping. So you can find this pattern on Ravelry for $7. And this is really gonna work for pretty much everybody on your list. The next one is something that I have really been wanting one of, although I have my own ideas about it, and maybe in the new year, I'm gonna get my act together and create a pattern for it. But it is uh, one of these new, this is called a neck warmer, but what we would traditionally call it is a dicky, which means it's a collar with a little bit of fabric in the front and the back to hold it in place under your clothes or under your coat in this case. Um, so this is the Liebling Neck Warmer by Camilla Bad. Uh, and as you can see, this is pretty straightforward. A ribbed collar, some stockinette on kind of the bib part, and then again, ribbing on the edges. Nothing fancy here at all. Uh, it uses a bulky held with a lace weight, so that's still a bulky weight yarn. And in um, and the recommended yarn is icing. 
Isager, 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 and I have no idea how to pronounce it. Um, yarn Alpaca 3 and their Silk Mohair. But again, you could pretty much use any bulky weight yarn or probably two strands of worsted held together. Pattern just includes one size. That kind of makes sense. It just has to go around your neck and the neck is ribbed, so it's gonna be very stretchy. And the yardage is 220, which is um, well under our 300 yard limit. Oh, so she is so to make that she is holding two strands of the of the yarn alpaca three together to make a bulky weight and then adding a silk mohair on top of that. So you can do that. You could actually find a bulky yarn, whatever. Uh, and it is available on Ravelry for a grand total of six dollars and five cents. Um, so it is available in English and Danish, if that happens to be the language you speak. Um, again, this is the Liebling Neck Warmer by Camilla Bad. All right, the next one is yet another hat. As I said, hats, great for gift giving because they kind of fit everybody. This is the Carlo hat by Suzanne uh, Muller, Mueller, Mueller. I don't have any German. Um, and this is an ear flap hat that is adorable and is worked up in a bulky weight yarn. And then there's some stuff here in German that I can't read, but the pattern is available in English. <laughs> However, the pattern notes and details on Ravelry are only written in German. Uh, the recommended yarn is Peruvian by Filcolana, which is an Aran weight. Uh, but then also includes as a recommended yarn Puno by La Mana, which is 60-40 alpaca merino and is a bulky. Um, so maybe if holding, maybe she's holding the Filcolana double. I don't know because I can't read German. Um, so the sizes are, it includes, let's see, one, two, three, four sizes. They are written in centimeters, so I don't know what they mean, but four sizes. That's going to fit most adults, I would think. Um, and uses anywhere from 150 to 200 grams of the various yarns that she recommends. The Etsy listing that she has, um, you don't need to buy it on Etsy, you can buy it I think on Ravelry, but if you want more of those uh, details, um, then you can go to the Etsy listing. It is worked from the bottom to the top in a rib um, and just increases, decreases, and a rib stitch. You can grab this pattern on Ravelry for a grand total of $4.26. This is going to knit up very quickly on uh, a US 6 and 8 needle. You're going to be able to, again, jump into your stash, find some worsted weight yarn um, that you can hold double if you don't already have the bulky. And this is going to be a great option for pretty much anyone on your list. A good ear flap hat, always welcome in the dead of winter. So again, Carlo hat by Suzanne. She doesn't appear to actually be German, so I'm gonna go with Müller. All right, and the last one. This is the Double Split Color Blocked Cowl. So this is available from Church Mouse Yarns and Tees, which is a yarn and tea shop, as you might imagine. Uh, it uses Madeline Tosh ASAP, which is a super bulky uh, yarn. And obviously you can see it uses two different colors. Um, but the grand total of your yardage is only 180 yards, and this is just a ribbed cowl that is going to knit up very quickly on a US 15 needle and a gauge of 12 stitches over 4 inches. So that says you need about 90 yards of each color. Um, presumably you can make it with just one color, but I really do like how the, the two colors look together. And they actually very helpfully give you a pre and post blocking gauge. So it's really gonna help you um, make sure as you're knitting that you're staying on track so it doesn't kind of end up coming out too big, which when you get a really big cowl and it's not actually kind of hugging around your neck, doesn't, doesn't quite work as well. So um, this is a pattern that is available on Ravelry for six whole dollars. Obviously it just comes in one size, but it's just ribbing, so adding or subtracting uh, some stitches is probably going to help you resize this. It is seamless. So even though it's got those two colors, it kind of looks like maybe you would seam them together at some point. You don't. It says it's reversible and seamless. 
um, and it's just constructed with splits on opposing sides, which is giving you that kind of peak of one color under the other. So again, you can grab this on Ravelry for six bucks, the double split color blocked cowl. And then one bonus pattern, as I said, this is a pattern of my own and it is available for free to my newsletter subscribers. This is the Rayado hat. This is actually a pattern that is written for lots of different weight yarns. Um, so the adult sizes are, are, are written for a bulky weight yarn and the kids are written for a worsted weight yarn. Just makes it, um, a little easier to, uh, to manage the sizes for smaller kids. It's very hard to use a bulky weight yarn with such a large gauge and try to make multiple small sizes. So the pattern includes baby toddler, child, teen, adult small, and then adult large. So it uses two different colors of yarn. One, you need, you know, like a normal hat amount for, <laughs> um, and the other, you really just need probably some leftovers for the trim and the stripes. So your total yardage at most is going to be 250 yards. The adult, as I said, uses a, a chunky yarn. Um, so the one that I used for this is again, Brooklyn Tweed Quarry. You can use pretty much any bulky weight yarn that you want. And it looks more complicated than it is. It uses um, just slipped stitches to be able to kind of create a checkerboard pattern where you're slipping one color over the other. Um, knits up very quickly, especially in that bulky weight yarn. You can add a yarn pom-pom. As you can see, I used one of the alpaca pom-poms for this, and I really love the way that looks. Um, and again, this is available for free to my newsletter subscribers, so you don't have to pay for it or anything. You just have to subscribe to my newsletter to get access to the free pattern library I have for my subscribers, um, which includes this pattern, Dryado, as well as a bunch of other free patterns. So there you have it, eight projects to knit for the holidays if you are looking for a last minute gift to knit even though you don't have to you're not required to knit for christmas but if you would like to and you are looking for something that you could finish up in the next week eight ideas here for you plus one bonus idea i hope you found this video useful if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel lots of great knitting related content here tutorials vlogs podcasts and all kinds of other good stuff Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I will see you soon in another video. Bye. I would also like to take a moment just to kind of point out that it's somehow always, almost always, women's hobbies that are expected to somehow benefit other people. Women's hobbies. Knitting, crochet, sewing, baking, making jewelry, etc, etc. You don't see people saying like, hey Bob, for Christmas I'd like you to rebuild my carburetor. Or, hey, Joe, for Christmas, I'd like you to teach me how to play golf. Somehow men are allowed to enjoy their hobbies for the sake of enjoying their hobbies. And somehow it's always women's hobbies uh, that are somehow supposed to be productive and benefit other people. That's really crappy. I'm gonna put this at the end because, you know, not everybody wants to hear my nonsense. Uh, but think about it, it's true. So. Um, fight the patriarchy and don't make any gifts this holiday season.